it's been an exciting month now, right? Yeah. We've had site visits from Popular Mechanics. Um, the Toyota Mobility Foundation has come through with Super Films. Had us document all the progress that we've made, where we're at with the XO, and where we plan to go. More photographers and videographers than I've seen in years. <laughs> In 2016, I was able to participate with IHMC in the first Cybathlon. It was the first, first competition of its kind across the world where uh, humans and machines work together to complete obstacle courses similar to what is presented at the Olympics and other events like that. I participated in the exoskeleton event with IHMC as the pilot. Our team took about two years to build the robot that we brought to the competition. Um, and I had about eight weeks of practice before we got there. Uh, we finished just seconds behind the, the first place winner. It was a great accomplishment for our team. I was really proud to be you know, the representative and given that responsibility and I take it very seriously. You know, what we were doing really showed the world the advancements that are coming and are being developed right now you know, for you know, paraplegic mobility and really mobility for all people with disabilities. Mina V2 is the exoskeleton that we brought to the 2016 Cybathlon. We brought Mina back to the United States, back to IHMC in the lab, and we started running various tests so that we could really see how Mina affected me, you know, as we prepared to design our next exoskeleton. It began right after the competition. The shortcomings of our machine were made evident to us, and we knew exactly where we needed to start. Uh, we are in the construction phase. We are putting together the exoskeleton. We've already designed, got all the hardware back in, and we're slowly building the robot back up. We have one leg up and working, working on the second leg together. And you know, within the next few weeks, we should have you know, a functional robot, at least hardware-wise, and then we'll start working on the software. Now that we're moving on with Quix, um, I've become a bigger part of the actual construction of the device, use, uh, doing the carbon layups, and uh, working directly with the team on you know, actually putting the device together. So that's been really exciting for me to actually get more of a hands-on you know, hands work with the group. Over the next 100 days, we will be building an exoskeleton, finishing code, building the obstacle course, practicing the obstacle course. It's really going to be an intense time as we get ready for this. We have so much to do and what seems like, a, seems like tomorrow we need to be finished. It's going to be a wild ride, man. But we have a dedicated team. I have faith in all the people that I work with. They've been my friends as much as they've been my colleagues over the past 10 years. As we get closer to the Cybathlon, we're all scrambling to get things done. And in the same moment, we're all relaxed, calm, working with each other, communicating, just focused. It's not just about getting me walking, it's about getting the whole community that I live in up on their feet again. <laughs> it's exciting though. We've come so far and we have so much further to go.